What's going on boys, it's Clemens back on the mic and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to vastly improve your internet speed on your Xbox Series X. This will work for Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox Series S. It will work for any Xbox and probably work for PlayStation as well but I can only give tutorials on Xbox so I don't own a PlayStation at least for that, not for the time being. Um, but I mean if you know how to do this on PlayStation then definitely give it a go. It should work more or less the same. So. There's three methods in this video. I'm going to, well, I say methods. The, it's basically all one method, but there's three steps to it. Um, I recommend that you do all three of these steps all together, all at once, all in the same method, um, just to ensure that you're getting the best connection possible. Um, so I've done tests on this, and it has increased both my upload and download speed. It's increased increased my uh, late, well, it's lowered my latency, which is better. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd share this because it worked absolute wonders for me. So we're going to go into your Xbox settings here. You go to network settings. Now this I'm going to have to blur out um, as I go deeper into these settings because obviously you know it has some information showing on there you don't really want public. Um, so I recommend you guys test network speed and statistics before doing this just to see if it has actually improved. Like, it might even make your internet worse. I'm not going to lie, this is going to depend entirely on your location and things like that. There's multiple factors into this. So run a diagnostic sort of speed test and statistics. Um, take note of the latency. Um, download and upload speed, all that good stuff. Maybe write it down, do these methods, come back, do it again. And if you see a great improvement, stick with it. If you don't, uh, or, or it negatively affects your Wi Fi uh, network speed, sorry, then don't worry, I'll, I'll be showing you guys how to fix that and set it back to what it was within seconds. So run a diagnostics test on your uh, network connection. I'm going to go over to advanced settings. Now I'm going to have to blur all this, but you're going to come down. The first thing you're going to do is come to DNS setting. Now it will be on automatic, you wanna go on manual. Okay, so this is a custom one that I did, so ignore this. Um, this is the closest DNS to me. So there's actually a couple of ways you could do this. You can either Google the closest DNS to you, uh, which will probably be the best bet, or you can use these ones, which are Google's, and Google is all around the world, okay? So these, these DNS servers will work for most people. Um, and the claim, I'm pretty sure they are the largest DNS um, public domain type thing, so everyone's using Google's um, DNS servers um, and rightly so because obviously it's Google. So I'm gonna give the guys an old one that still works and I found to be better than the new one. So the first one you wanna put in is Google's old DNS server, which is one zero uh, zero again and one. And then you want to put that as the secondary DNS server as well. So one, zero, zero, one. So when you come back out, it should test it. Oh, it's all good. Your console is connected to the internet. So that's that done. Come back into your advanced set. Oh, I've just accidentally tested my connection. You want to go into your advanced settings again. You want to scroll down to alternative port selection. Now it'll say your current port, you wanna to go to manual. You wanna to come to this drop list here. You wanna make sure that you're connected to the very last port. Um, I've done research on this, apparently the very last port in the uh, drop down menu is the best port for things that need the most network uh, and the most power. So things like the Series X will benefit from this a lot. So you wanna make sure you've got this last port selected, whatever that is on your screen. This was default actually, but the last one was default for my Series X. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be default for like Xbox One and stuff. So just make sure you've got that done. And then the last thing you want to do, guys, is you want to go to alternative MAC address. And you want to clear that. And that will reboot your console. And then when it reboots up, you want to run yourself another diagnostic test. And see if it has actually vastly improved your internet, which I guarantee um, it will. So they're the three steps, all in one method. I recommend you guys do them all together to ensure you've got the best connection. Now, if you notice that your network speed has dropped or is around about the same, you just feel like going back. It's really easy. So you go to advanced settings and click on DNS. You want to click automatic. Alternative part, you want to click on that, automatic. Alternative MAC address, um, you can just clear that again or leave it. It really doesn't matter. So, yeah, so that's the old Google DNS. So I'll show the new one now. Um, I found the old one to be better, but... We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll put it in the video. So eight, 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 eight. Okay, so that's the primary DNS. And then for the secondary, I'm gonna put oh, 
eight, eight, four, four. And then you want to back out of that, it's all good. And then run another diagnostic speed. Now, I don't have the best internet. It's like, it's mainly to do with my location, I guess. I do pay for quite good internet. And with BT, which is a UK broadband provider, I'm not sure if it's in like the US or anywhere. But yeah, they're usually pretty good. Um, I don't have any problems with like gaming and stuff, but my download speed's not the best. Um, neither's my upload, but my upload did go up by 10 whole megabytes just by doing this. And my download speed went up by 20. Uh, it went from 39 or 40 to 60 some point something. So it's it's not that big of a, it, it, to me, it's quite a lot. I mean, it's quite an average connection, I suppose. So some of you guys that you know have data caps and stuff, it might actually be really good. But for some people that have a better connection than me, like optic fiber and stuff like that, might look at this and think, oh, this is shit. But the, the results will vary. It's totally determined by location and stuff. If these two DNSs don't even do anything for you, like I've said, I recommend you, I recommend you Google yeah, the closest DNS servers to you. Do some research, find them out, and then put them in. Um, and it's that simple. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, I found this video helpful. Smash the like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I've been Clements, you've been absolutely amazing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and take care.